At the most basic level, the way we create stability in the snatch is by ensuring we're working overwhelmingly with vertical forces. We do this by intentionally generating vertical force and minimizing horizontal motion of the bar and body throughout the lift. Start with the simple idea that you receive the snatch by pushing straight up into the bar while it pushes straight down onto you. If the bar moves properly into the correct position overhead and you're sitting straight down into a balanced squat, there are no forces moving you or the bar forward or backward, and stabilizing is easy. There are four basic parts to making this happen. Maintaining even whole foot balance all the way through the pole, driving vertically with the legs as you finish extending, actively keeping the bar as close as possible throughout the pole and pole under, and finishing the turnover with a vertical punch up into the bar rather than a pole backward. Learn to feel this in stages. First, use the drop snatch to practice a vertical squat with a vertical punch up into the bar. Then the tall snatch to again feel a vertical squat and a vertical finish to the turnover. Next, use the snatch from power position to feel balance and a vertical leg drive through the extension, along with the same vertical squat and vertical finish to the turnover. And finally, integrate these motions into a full snatch. Can you make heavy snatches with a bunch of horizontal motion and momentum? Yes, if you're both strong and orthopedically resilient enough, but you're creating unnecessary difficulty and stress on the body. No snatch is going to have zero horizontal force to contend with, no matter your lifting style or skill level, but the more you can minimize it, the more consistently and easily you'll make successful lifts.